18th Pinch event here in Sydney Local Health District. What does end PJ paralysis do for you? It reduces your risk of infections, it reduces your risk of pressure sores, it prevents you from losing your muscle strength, it prevents deconditioning, it reduces the risk of falls, it improves your well-being. The Walker unit we're asking for a sensory space and therapeutic garden, a locked high intensity psychiatric unit for adolescents aged 12 to 18. Just to let you know, the evidence shows that having access to uh, sensory spaces and diversional therapies can greatly improve the well-being of young people and those with mental health concerns. For having trained overseas in uh, transcatheter valve programs uh, and some of the innovations that are now progressing overseas, I thought we would, might try and bring to uh, the Australian scene. Concord in our chemo suite here delivers six and a half thousand chemotherapy treatments per year. For many of those hours, this is what they get to look at. This is the wall in the chemo suite. What our proposal is, is to look at a landscape of nature, bringing it inside the chemotherapy suite. The first prize went to the garden. The remaining $10,000 will go to the PJ uh, project. mean a study day with Professor Jolan and you know when I went to see him give his study day on this it inspired me and I brought the message back to my team Tracy Millen and I and you know we want to spread the word get it out there hashtag NPJ process and I think by bringing Professor Dolan here who's just received an OBE from the Queen for this work he'll spread the word across Sydney local health district so we lead out in front. Mm -hmm.